I am not a travel influencer, but I've always wanted to document one of my vacations. So in this video, I'm going to be putting together a vlog of my ocean cruise and interviewing a travel influencer that just so happened to be on the same cruise as me. I'm staying at a nice hotel. I'm going on a cruise and I'm on vacation. There is a creative that's gonna be on this cruise. It is a travel influencer who apparently has 100,000 followers. Said that she's bringing 100,000 friends online i'm gonna try to find her and i'm gonna see if she wants to do a quick interview about how she grew to a hundred thousand followers we're staying at the embassy suites hotel um the night before going on the cruise so uh let's go check in and check out the hotel <laughs> I think this is my first time staying in an Embassy Suites hotel. This, like, atrium is insane. Are you ready to give a tour? The hotel? Of the room. Of the room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we got a little living room and a TV. Scene area. There's a pull-out bed there. We have this whole counter space with sink and stuff that's nice what does that look like very industrial out here we have these oh they're there otherwise this is the bed i don't plan on doing travel videos often but when i do i want to do a bed test so you gotta hop on the bed i give it a I give it a, this is the first one, I give it a five out of 10. <laughs> Very middle ground. It's a little firm, a little bouncy. Fine. Ah! Sam bought me a book. It's one that I've been wanting to read for a long time. If you've heard of it, let me know. It's not a fancy hotel. Bro. No, we got the sink out where the, the bed is. And then, oh, another sink. What a surprise. It's not crazy, but the atrium and the view and having a balcony is really nice and uh, apparently there's supposed to be a nice continental breakfast so we're gonna rest here probably shower here eat somewhere nearby and uh, wake up tomorrow morning for the cruise <laughs> we need to find out more about this influencer that's supposed to be on the cruise you saw the comment who's this supposed to be i don't know it's somebody who was going to be on the cruise and she said she was going to be making content while she was on the cruise if people wanted to be a part of it. So I sent you the screenshot of it so you could reach out. So I need to check out that screenshot. That is something that I'm gonna try to solve more tomorrow. Um, time to go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> This 
person very openly said they are bringing 100,000 people with them. Ashley Travels, she was not lying about having 100,000 followers, 2.3 million likes. Let's watch some of her uh, biggest videos. Here's an honest review of the most mediocre cruise line in the world. Now, fuck that. I mean, what the fuck is this, Jurassic Park? They must think the passengers are really friggin' idiots. Get ready to have your eardrums obliterated by smooth jazz. Brutally honest. Get ready to see your face on every single flat surface on the ship because the whole fucking place is covered in mirrors. Okay, we're having some problems loading the videos. From what I can tell, her style is very abrasive commentary on what being on a cruise is like. I just messaged her, so hopefully she sees my message. I'm curious to understand what her goal is. What does she hope to achieve? Oh, good question. So she's not a typical travel blogger. Okay. Is it to be? We have questions for Ashley. You I'm better be to, ready, I'm Ashley. Afraid, I'm afraid to ask her. <laughs> Consider it. Okay. So now we're gonna explore the ship a little bit more. We're gonna go get welcome shots. <laughs> yeah. This is like, this is like a three. Pretty stiff. Yeah, there's worse. That's not like a dream sleep situation. So Ashley just posted the video of her boarding the ship. She's finally on board. So now we're talking, which is cool. But we're just gonna get the room all set up and then go for the sail away party, right? So I just got back from a fantastic day of working out and everything, and this cruise has been wonderful. But I have not made any progress, nor have I even run into Ashley while she's been making content all over the ship. I have been watching a few of her videos. This is literally, this is literally our last day here. We need to talk because I reached out to Ashley and uh, I decided that I want to talk to her after the cruise. I can watch how she posts throughout this cruise. She just got a new camera, kind of on this new wave of like what she's been posting. And I think it's really good. And I have a lot of questions for her. We've been messaging on TikTok. We decided that the best time to meet is tonight at 6 p.m. We're gonna be meeting on the top deck of the ship. It's gonna be the first time that I've ever seen her, which is insane because we've been on the same ship for the last five days. What are the chances that we don't run into each other? Even though there's like literally thousands of people on this ship, like you'd think that you might run into somebody that you're looking for, not at all. I was looking the entire time. The only time that we were in the same room that I know of is during the ice skating show, but that's it. I've been pretty impressed by what she's been posting. And I think that she is gonna have a lot to share that's going to help beginners and going to help people that are scared to be 
posting online. I will see you when I see Ashley tonight at 6 p.m. walk of the ship finally here it's 5 45 and i got a message that she's sitting by the bar uh we're gonna try to find somewhere quiet to have this conversation here we go meeting ashley travels 715 and having a conversation with her i'm gonna be meeting ashley for the first time let's go hi <gasps> you caught me channel yeah hi it's great to meet you nice to meet you <laughs> i guess <laughs> okay wow um i have a lot of questions for you i'm sure you do because i have a lot of questions as to what the heck you know my life is right now <laughs> <laughs> okay um my first question would be when did you start making content <laughs> when, did, really when was that like, conceived? I joined YouTube, I'll just say, in 2005, 2006. Yeah. It's been a while, and I've consistently made stuff, but it's all just been really dumb stuff that really never caught on. Mm -hmm. And then I started drifting over into travel, and it apparently took off in the past few weeks, and I've just been riding the wave. <laughs> I was let go from a job because of the economy. They mm -hmm. didn't want to do it, but you know, we, the sales were really down, and I was the first one to go. First of all, I was really sad, but then I, I got a really cool position and they can't bring me on board until May. So I said, you know what, let me just travel. I've In the past month, I've been to Boston, Philadelphia, Vermont, all up in the Northeast, um, Atlanta. I've been to the Bahamas. This is my second time to the Bahamas and I'm going back next week, all before May, before I start the job. So okay. just, again, ride in the wave. Doing as much as possible much while you possible. can. Yep. Yeah. Why, why, was, why do you think travel is where you kind of, like, why is that where you leaned into with your content? Everybody wants to travel and not everybody has the ability to. I have one lady right now that is recovering from a surgery and she said watching my videos brought her so much joy and because I go live and post so many videos, she feels like she's on the journey with me and she's unfortunately stuck at home with, mm. I, I, I forget exactly what she had, but, um, you know, she's unable to do this herself and she's living, everybody's saying, I'm living vicariously through you and if I'm gonna be the guinea pig to have it happen for all these people, so be it. And I enjoy my time. We all enjoyed the 70s dance party last night. People were at home. They said, you know, I'm pouring out my, my wine bottle right now, dance into all these 70s dances with you. So it's not just me on this trip. Do you feel like you're really carrying like everyone else with you? I feel like every time I go in the elevator, I'm like, is there room for a thousand? Because I'll be on a live and there'll be a thousand people. And I'm like, I hope there's room for a thousand in this elevator. Oh. So it's, it's not just me on this vacation. And I think it sets me apart from a lot of other travel influencers too. Yeah, I want to talk about that. Yeah. You are, I have a lot of friends who are travel influencers. Like that's their job, that's their title. They do it full time on YouTube. Okay. You have like broken out of the stereotype in a way that I find fascinating. <laughs> you are so real and you post so, just like you said, you post basically live. It's like, nonstop. So yeah. I record, I edit on my phone, I get videos out as soon as possible, and I try to have the people live in the moment with me. And I think a lot of travel influencers are like, come spend the day with me and blah, blah, blah. And they go through a day and it's so unrealistic. And I'm like, I can't relate to this person. What they want to see is a real human being on a trip, enjoying their time. They don't want some pre-packaged, like, First I stopped here, got a coffee, and then I went here and did this, and then I, you that's know. That's what I think is special about you. That's, that's what why I'm different. I'm, I'm trying to break out of cruise. that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I want to talk about that a little bit more. Yeah. Do you like plan out what videos you're going to do? I, I do what plan. I yeah. plan a little bit because I, I did go to school for filmmaking and um, videography and all that kind of stuff. So 
I try to think, okay, I can make a video with this, show this and that. But even in the moment, like today I passed by a church that was really cool. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, look, a cool church. Let's go in. Did a little shot, came out, and I said, well, that was fun. And But it's just you got to think about things that people might want to see in the place. If they look in a book and say, oh, there's this, this, this. We'll make a 40 second video about that location and just give a person an honest take in the moment, not overly edited either. So they just, sometimes people just want something basic. Yeah. And that's what I'm trying to deliver. Yeah. I think that you're doing a really good job <laughs> and it resonates with people. Yeah. Which is that's really cool. what I'm trying to do. At the start of this cruise, you were at 100K, at least that's what I saw. Yeah. Maybe 101. You're yep. now about to cross 109. I think I just hit 109. You just hit 109. <laughs> yeah. I looked an hour ago and you were like at 108. Uh, you know what? Hold on. Oh, 109. 109. That's insane. 109. Yeah. Yep. On this cruise, I gained about 9,000. Usually, um, when I used to do live a few months ago, it was my mom and my dad watching. Now it's my mom and my dad and six or 700 other people. Now that you have this wave of like, people coming in more and more and more. Yeah. Do you feel pressure from that? Not really, I just it just kind of blows my mind that people want to watch me act like an idiot on a, on a cruise ship or act like an idiot anywhere really. I think what people find so engaging as well is it's one of those things like, um, what is she gonna do next? Like I did mm. karaoke last night for example and I, I was extremely nervous to do it but uh, for some reason sometimes I get anxiety. You didn't only do karaoke, you recorded yourself doing karaoke. <laughs> That's a whole different level of oh, yeah. slight embarrassment. But my version of karaoke is getting crowd involvement, so I, I yeah. recently discovered Call Me Maybe is fantastic for crowd involvement. So I've done it twice already, and um, it went from uh, women singing their hearts out on stage to people just casually clapping to people really wanting to be involved in the singing of the song. What's like your end goal? You want crowd involvement. You like being on stage, it sounds like. Sometimes, And yeah. <laughs> now that people are flooding in, like what do you feel like is like the potential? And where, where do you want know. it to go? I, is there a place? I'm kind of like, oh, I would love to be so outgoing and do something crazy. And I do that to myself too because I'm not I can be an introvert but when I get in a big crowd of people sometimes I'm just like you know what let me just dance in the middle of a dance floor people people find that like people were coming into my live for example saying oh my gosh she's embarrassing herself but you know what I don't care I don't know any of these people on board you only live once what's your best advice for somebody that's always thought that they wanted to start but just haven't picked up that camera and just recorded something or maybe they have and they just didn't put it up Post videos. I have a friend right now on a on a world cruise. She is in her 60s and she does have TikTok and she watches mine. And I keep telling her, just take a dang video and post it. Because you know, people want to see that kind of thing. So yeah. if you're at home, you don't have to be on a world cruise, but if you're at home and you see something funny and you know your dog or cat or something does something funny in your life, post it because it might go viral. You never know. So just, just try. If you don't try something, you won't know if it ever works. People go, why do I want something to go viral? Why do you want something to go viral? Well, if I think it's funny and I laugh hysterically at it, there might be a thousand other people in this gigantic world of seven billion people that might think it's funny too. If you can make somebody else smile in this world, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> that's, that's so beautiful. What? <laughs> wow. Yeah. If you can bring joy to one of seven billion people in this world, and maybe one, two, five, ten, a million, who cares? But, at, you know, at least you're not in your, you're not alone in your thinking that that was funny, that was emotional, that was sad, that was great. There's other people in, that know about it too. It's great. From what you've told me, you're your goal or your mission seems to be to share like that excitement and that happiness that comes from That's travel, me. to That's share me. those moments for the people that don't have those same opportunities. Yeah, or That's what I'm trying to do with, with everything that I'm doing right now is show people there is a whole world out there to enjoy and not everybody has the ability to do it. So I'll share six, seven hours of my day and they can do it with me. 
let's say TikTok, YouTube, that becomes your full-time thing. Are you traveling everywhere? I would love to. Yeah. I would love to, but travel is expensive, so yeah. I need I need some of your followers to follow me too. <laughs> Ashley Travels 715. Her yeah. channel is linked down below if you want to subscribe to her on YouTube. <laughs> also a link to her TikToks. So go watch them all. But Bye. Thank you, Ashley. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. What I notice is the people that are really growing, you can tell they're enjoying it because what they're doing is actually creating happiness in the world. And just like she is, she's trying to make something that makes other people feel happy, gives other people experiences that maybe they can't do alone. Not because like they can't afford it or something, but maybe they have a disability. <laughs> it makes it unable for them to take a cruise just like this. I am not a travel influencer, and I don't think I could be. Ashley is an incredible travel influencer that's doing things differently. And that's a huge reason to follow her and support her. So I really hope that you do go check her out. Um, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my cruise. This is the last night, so. I didn't expect there to be so many people in this elevator. Chinch Bolt, everybody. Chinch Bolt is here. What's up?